Okay, now where is that video for my presentation? I want to find that file. Where the heck is it? I need. I know that the file is living somewhere, and I want to be able to repurpose it. And so they want to be able to do three things. They want to be able to manage, they want to be able to access, and they want to be able to protect your files. So MAP is a really nice acronym to remember. So how, how is JBNA actually doing that for, for you? Well, what we've done is we've brought multiple partners together that we're the master distributor on, and we've gotten them to collaborate and work together to create this dynamic workflow. And so we've got products that will help you to ingest content, to store content, to manage that content, to transcode or convert that content, and then archive that content. Now, in some applications, we've actually gotten the products to write into each other's APIs so that we've got plugins that are within the software that can connect to them uh, directly. Or we've created watch folder based workflows where we've just created a nice workflow where you put in all the equipment and we know it works together. And the main thing here is that you can come to JB Knight and tell us that you want the solution, and we can actually create the workflow for you. CatDB, the software for managing this entire workflow, is the central hub. And so let's talk a little bit about CatDB. What is CatDB? CatDB is a lot of different things. It is a logging tool, so that means you can basically enter in notes that are associated to a file. That makes it easier to search. It is a tool that's great for collaborating and sharing files. It is a diagnostic tool. It's a tool to uh, manage users, so decide who has access to what content. It is a tool that allows you to distribute and publish content to multiple formats and multiple locations. And it is just a flat out content management tool where we manage your assets and, uh, and make sure they're all protected. So we're going to pause here quickly in the presentation, and I'm actually going to show you a little bit about the software. So bear with me one second, and I'm going to jump into the software. So this is the CatDV interface. And what we have here is we have lots of different assets, video files, audio files. You see here, these are a couple files of CEOs speaking. We basically have this software to allow you to search for files and then do things to those files. So the first thing that happens is when a file is brought into the CatDB system from your video teleconferencing or from your creative team from the marketing department, you want to be able to start to organize that content and make it easier to search for. So when you highlight a file, we've got these simple drop-down menus where you can say, this CEO speaking is a welcome video. And maybe the person who's speaking is the chief accounting officer. And uh, the location is in conference room three, and it's on the second floor. And what we're doing is we're creating search terms, terms that are associated to this file. So if I were to actually go up into this Google type search bar and type in floor two, you'll see, if I spell it correctly, this, this file actually comes up once I started typing. And I can also type in, let's say, welcome video. And you'll see that I actually have two welcome videos. So we make it very easy for you to associate search terms to a video file and then be able to find that file after um, when you want to repurpose it. Now we have no limit to how many drop down menus or simple note fields we have. There's no limit to how many fields you want to have. And anything that you enter in here is searchable. So if I enter in notes field here manually, I can start to type in note field up here and you'll see that it actually delineates to that file that I want. We've also got ways to um, select multiple assets. So you can actually select multiple assets here and say, you know what, all three of these are all welcome videos or they're all monthly review videos. And so you can actually highlight multiple files and associate them. Also, we've got multiple tabs up here. And there's no limit to how many tabs you can have. And you can decide that certain people have certain access. So I can say that when a file is brought in, Maybe there's an administrator who will do some simple association, but maybe then it goes to the marketing department. And the marketing department can go in here and decide where is this file going to go. Maybe it's going to go to YouTube. Uh, maybe they'll associate it to a certain office. This is associated to the Boston office. They can enter in some notes here. We've got simple ratings, so they can say this is a really good video. You can have some simple check boxes. And all of this makes it basically easy to search for in the future. Because if I were to search for things, I can actually say, show me all the files that we have that have been approved. Or show me all the files that, we've, that we have or we've sent an invoice. Again, this is all easily customizable for your end user. 
we can also, from the CatDB software, actually create an archive. So we can say, let's go ahead and archive these files. And so we'll back up the file to the cache system. It'll go ahead and send the file, and then you'll get status and details saying the file's been archived. It's been protected. And you can feel comfortable that the file's been archived and protected. We've also got a way to associate transcripts, like I mentioned in the slideshow. So we can actually go in and we can open up a feature called the verbatim logger. And what the verbatim logger does is it allows you to associate uh, markers and text to certain parts of the video. So you'll see here I've actually got a transcript, transcript in here <clears throat> excuse me, with multiple markers. So if I go to a certain marker, you'll see that there's actually the text that he, that he says. So I can actually do a search for anything that he said during his speech. So you'll see, let's just pick a line here uh, for those of you. If I go ahead and start to talk, type in for those of you, if I can type in correctly, you'll see that this file comes up. And what I can do is you'll see that there's some event markers here that'll take me to different parts of the video. I can also go to a, a summary of this one file. And what you'll notice is the summary of the file actually has for those highlighted. And this is something that you can print out, that you can share, and it has all of these event markers to show you exactly what you're searching for and where it is in the video. Now I want to quickly show you, now that I'm talking a little bit about event markers, I want to show you a little bit about our web tool. We've got a browser-based tool. Let me just go ahead and bring over a Safari web page here. We have a browser-based tool that allows you to do a lot of the similar things that you can do on the install tool. So you can have your end users actually sign into a website. And you'll see here that um, I'm just using a simple username because that's my name and no password. And once I log in, I have access to only the content I'm supposed to have access to. So when I go ahead and open up a, a catalog, you'll see here that this is actually the same file that I was just working with. And when I actually, I can actually review for this, review this file, I can search for certain files, just like we were talking about before, those same event markers are here, so I can actually search for the same phrase, and say for those of you who know St. St. Catharines. What's really powerful in this web tool is a lot of the same thing I can do in CatDB in the install piece of software, I can do from this web page as well. So I could actually go in here and edit the clip, and I could add a new event marker. So maybe I have to say, do an edit here um, for the marketing department. I'll just say, edit here. And when I go ahead and hit OK, what you'll notice is, if I go back to the installed version, and I go ahead and refresh, what we're going to see is, when I go to the event markers, we will see, go ahead and save that change, and that will help out a bit. And now that I've saved that change, let me just open up uh, Cat TV again. And we're going to open up the catalog I was working on. And you'll see here, that there's a marker saying edit here. So it's a way to collaborate between a web tool and the install tool, so people from the web can actually view that same content. Let's go back to the web tool just for a second. Um, we've got two different interfaces. We've got this full interface, but we've also got this kind of YouTube look and feel type layout as well. So if you want to be able to give end users access to just be able to view content and not actually make any changes, you can do that as well. So they can do a search for files, um, again, based on what they have access to, and they can play the file back and look at some basic information about the file as well. One other thing that I want to talk quickly about in CatDB is something that we call the worker node, which is a way to automate tasks. So what that means is I can actually search for a file, and then I can highlight a file or multiple files, and then I can do something. So with CatDB being the traffic cop, the centralized piece of software for this ecosystem, I can say, let's go ahead and archive these files or let's make a DVD of these files, or maybe send to an FTP, or a lot of people want to, let's convert this for an iPad and an iPhone. 
And the workflow will be that CatDV sends a file to another partner like Telestream for transcoding or a DVD duplicator or an FTP uploading tool. And we're doing all of the automation. We're, we're doing the entire content management workflow from CatDV. And you can create these workflows within CatDV to connect to almost any piece of hardware or software. So not only can I trigger these events from the installed client, but I can also do that from the web client as well. If I go ahead and change the status, you'll see here that I have the same commands. So I can say send this one file from the FTP, or convert to my iPod, or send it to my IPTV system, or archive this file. So I can actually create actions from the web page back at the mothership to actually have CatDV do these triggered actions. Let's jump back to the presentation quickly and just wrap up here. So I talked to you about, a little bit about CatDV. Let's just kind of review some of the benefits of the software. The first is that there's user, user authentication and access logs, which means you only have certain people that can have certain access to certain files. So you are, have complete control over that. We've got numerous ways to share and distribute the data. It's completely up to your end user how they want to share that data. We've got the web browser based searching and sharing tool that I showed you. You've got configurable group control. So again, you can create groups like the marketing team, the human resources team that, that have access to do certain things. It is available for most common server platforms. So the server software can run on Linux, Windows, Mac OS. The client software can work on Mac OS or Windows. We've got some integration with most nonlinear editing systems. And you can print reports uh, containing selected clips. So they can have handouts and physical printouts for any of the clips that you, you search for. So let me just quickly talk about a few other products. We talked a little bit about how Studio Network Solutions and Cache actually integrate with CatDV in this content management workflow. We've got an archiving option from CatDV to be able to send content to both Cache and Studio Network Solutions. So you can have nearline storage with Studio Network Solutions and archiving to Cache, which is an archivable format in LTO 4 and 5 to be able to protect your data. What JBNA has done, you can obviously buy these products a la carte. But JBNA has actually put special bundles together for a typical install that we've seen in the past few years. And the special bundle basically includes a lot of CatDV software. It includes some Evo, which is Studio Network Solution Storage. And it also includes some uh, LTO type archiving solution. So option A is 16 terabytes of storage. It is a single ProCache unit, which is um, LTO 5, 1.5 terabyte tapes per archiving. And the software needed to actually manage the entire system. Option B is a bit more robust. Option B has similar CatDV software, but we've doubled the amount of storage to 32 terabytes, and we've made a huge improvement to how much you can archive, which is a 48 tape library, which is over 60 terabytes of archiving and backup. The main thing here is that JBNA has put these...